Welcome, Impactful Parents. It's time for the Impactful Parenting Podcast, where I give you parenting tips and resources to make you a more impactful parent to your school-age child. I am your host, Christina Campos. Today's podcast is about trust. Yeah, trusting our kids. How am I going to trust my teen to take care of their car in college if they won't even remember to put in the gas today. I know, I have trust issues. I ask myself, how can I trust my child to make good food choices if they won't eat anything the color green? (laughs) And this one, how am I going to trust my child with money if all they do is spend and spend without thought? Trusting our kids can be difficult if their behavior does not seem trustworthy. However, where does our lack of trust come from? For me, most of my trust issues come from a place of fear. Yeah, fear, actually. I'm scared. I love my kids so much that I'm terrified. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. I don't want them to fail. I don't want them to get hurt. I don't want them to feel any pain. I want to keep all the bad in the world away from my children so that they can be happy. Doesn't that sound realistic? (laughs) No, not at all. I can't keep away all of the bad. Honestly, I shouldn't even try. The kind of kid that would be in that kind of environment with no adversity, no challenges, well, they'd also likely to be a child that at the age of 19 would not be prepared for the world. So really, most of my trust issues come down to one thing. (sighs) I don't trust my children to make the right choices for themselves. What? (laughs) Even saying it out loud sounds ridiculous to me, but ding, 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 ding. When I realized this, I had a huge light bulb moment. I actually don't trust my children to make the right choices for themselves. But children need to learn how to make their own decisions. So how do I let go of fear and allow my children to face the consequences of their choices? Well, there's no easy answer to this. Everyone is going to deal with their fears differently. But as I was thinking of this podcast today, and some of you who are like me, you might have a light bulb moment and realize where that lack of trust stems from. So are you worried that your child will make the same mistakes that you did? Are you afraid that they can't make a good choice for themselves? Yeah. Think about that. It isn't fair. You're not even giving your child a chance to live and learn. So instead of dismissing the next opportunity you have to trust your kids, seize that moment. That's my challenge for you today. It will be challenging to trust, but if you know that your lack of trust is not your child's issue, but instead fears you may be trying to avoid, then You can work on facing those fears and trusting your kids. Yoda, one of the great fictional masterminds of our time, once said, fear is the path to the dark side. (laughs) And Yoda also says, train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. Okay, so that's a little corny, but consider this. If we train ourselves to let go of things we fear, wouldn't we be happier? Wouldn't we trust our kids more? And wouldn't they learn more from their experiences than from our sheltering them all the time? There's a term out there called the lawnmower parent. The lawnmower parent mows down the obstacles of their children right in front of them so that they don't have any. There's no adversity for that child. 
It comes from a place of love. It comes from a place of not wanting your kid to have hardship. And I get it. Oh, man, do I understand it. But you don't want to be a lawnmower parent. It's not easy. But I'm working on letting go of things I fear. Because let's face it, parenthood is full of scary. There are other things to fill up my worry jar with. I am working on letting go of the small fears first, and then I'll progress to the bigger stuff. And I hope you join me in letting go and choosing to trust your child today. I really challenge you to do that. The next time you're worried about your child, pause for a moment and think, where is this fear coming from? What's going on? Why don't I trust them? Is it coming from a fear? Is it coming from something deep down where you don't want them to make a mistake or you don't want them to repeat a bad choice that you did and you think you know better? Wherever it's coming from, take a pause and figure it out and then learn to trust your child. They need your trust in order to grow. They need their experiences of trying something, failing, falling, and recovering from that in order to grow. And as long as you're there to support them along the way, and you're there to help them get up when they fall down, that's our job as parents. One of my favorite quotes I love to say is, you may have given a life, but it is not your life to live. So let your children live their own life. And just guide them. You're there for them to be support, to be their coach, to love them, to nurture them. And you can do this. And I'm with you. It's difficult. But I'm taking it one step at a time. You got this, parents. I'm just here to help. Thank you for listening today. Remember to subscribe and share this podcast with a friend. And don't forget, the Impactful Parenting Podcast is an extension of the Impactful Parent community. So go to the Impactful Parent website and sign up for a 30-day challenge. Browse the free resources or register for the weekly newsletter so that you don't miss a parenting tip that can help you and your family. Thanks for listening today and go to theimpactfulparent.com. See you next episode.